welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am doing a whole new video that i've never done before and it is reviewing influencer brands slash collaborations that they do with other brands now when i thought up to do this video i was really excited i was all for supporting influencer collaborations and brands because obviously I'm in this industry myself. However, having a look online, there's actually loads. There are loads of especially collaborations. For instance, In The Style is like the brand that collabs with influencers. I really just wanted to do a focus on influencer brands themselves. So I have got a few collaborations with bigger brands, but I have also got a lot of startup brands that influencers have done themselves. So I have a whole host of things to share with you. It's probably gonna be a long one. I'm not gonna go too much in depth. I'm gonna try and quick fire through them and just give you like a general overview of my thoughts. But I would still recommend pausing this video go grabbing yourselves a nice tea or coffee and to sit back relax put your feet up and i hope you guys enjoy i've also kind of categorized it into jewelry beauty home and fashion fashion being the main one but i think first and foremost i'm gonna start with my best Lydia Tomlinson she's Lydia Jane Tomlinson on Instagram she has done a collaboration with North Skull Jewelry which has been out for a while now she's done a couple of new releases since it was originally all gold she's um, introduced silver to the line as well I'll leave links to everything below now I actually have two items from the collection to share with you of which I actually don't have the original packaging, which is a little bit annoying, but I still wanted to include within this video. Firstly, I have this double chain bracelet. There was a matching necklace. I believe it's sold out. I don't know if it's gonna be restocked, but this is the double chain and fur bracelet. It is 18 karat gold plated on 925 silver, stunning silver. So really great quality. It's not gonna tarnish. It's gonna last a lifetime. It is beautiful all the pieces are from the collection but i love how kind of simple and minimal this is i love dainty pieces of jewelry it's great for gifting i feel like it's a good brand to um basically splurge a little without being too high end of a price point without compromising on the quality so the necklace which i believe is sold out was 90 pounds and the bracelet is 85 then i also have these earrings these are the habib T statement earrings and i'm pretty basic when it comes to my earrings i tend to just wear huggies but when i do go out and about or wear a simple dress that i want to dress up a little bit these are a perfect kind of statement earrings that aren't too much so really simple and minimal but that kind of drop effect just is a little something extra than just a plain standard huggies now these ones are 18 karat yellow gold plated on steel and these are priced at 105 pounds and with North Skull, the UK shipping is one to two days and it is free of charge. I'm actually going to keep this bracelet on for this video because I feel like I've not really got any jewellery on. So that adds to the plain and simple black quite nicely. So moving on to beauty. I have been desperate to get my hands on and try the Refai beauty products. These are created by Jess Hunt, who has the most enviable eyebrows i mean i feel like she is the person to start up a brand like this this is her brand and this is how the package arrived they basically sell brow products and also have recently launched a new summer skin range so first of all i love the packaging love the branding it's very minimal kind of beige aesthetics very summery vibes which i love and then the branded tissue paper to open up and what i purchased is the full brow kit they do them in light medium and dark they're 40 pounds i went for the light and within the brow kit you get three products so first of all you have a brow sculpt which is in clear and this is essentially like a gluey sticky kind of formula that helps push your eyebrows up into place and there's also a brush as well just to go through once you put the product on and then you have the brow pomade which is like the second step this obviously being in light has the little pomade pot at one end and the brush on the other and then we also have the brow pencil which is a super fine micro tip which is always my preference when it comes to a brow product i just find like you can draw on tiny little hairs and especially fill in the front bit so 
I personally love the brow pencil. Now, the actual brow sculpt in clear, I would 100% repurchase. It's the only products that I have found closest to like a soap brow formula that actually works and actually holds the hairs in place. I have very stubborn hairs and they tend to sit quite low. So to be able to brush them up and they stay, really recommend that. I would recommend putting them on before makeup though. The pomade for me is kind of a step that I would easily pass. I prefer just using a brow pencil in my opinion. It's easier to work with than a pomade and I just prefer the, the look and the finish. So I would skip repurchasing this. And then in terms of the actual brow pencil itself, I think the light shade is too warm for me. So if I were to repurchase this one, I would go with the medium just to see. I mean, I do naturally have slightly darker brows to kind of match my roots. <laughs> So I do think I could get away with the medium. So I am tempted to repurchase the medium, give it a try. The fact that you can buy them individually though is perfect because like I said, that brow sculpt, I would 100% repurchase. Shipping is $3.99 and it's one to three days you can expect to get your delivery. And as separates, the products range from 14 to 16 pounds each. The next beauty brand that I wanted to share with you is Filter Tan by Molly May. I'm sure loads of you have heard about this tan before. I actually have it on currently and I really like it. Now I did actually purchase this from their website direct however they do quite often sell these products on PLT, pretty little thing often run discounts so you might be able to get a bit of a saving over on there. You get the external box and your little dispatch note and then you get the beige kind of box packaging with the filter by Molly May on the front and on the inside the tissue paper is branded as well and you get a little card with a gorgeous Molly May on the front. Now I went for the extra dark. They have a medium dark and extra dark. I am naturally quite pale. However, I would still go for extra dark just because I feel like I want, a, a, if I want to tan, I want to be tanned. And I have used one layer and then rinsed it off. I would go in with a second layer, maybe especially if I'm going like on a night out or something. It's one of the best tanning brands I have found for application on the hands. The way that I would do it is just make sure that the hands are fully covered. Once I've done the whole body, I just use excess product on the mitt to cover my hands, fingers and everything. And then after about an hour or so, I wash my hands. I find that's the best way in preventing any kind of patchiness on your hands. And another thing to note, it goes on quite orangey. The guide color is definitely a real warm toned tan, which I didn't think I would like. I always thought I would prefer a more like greeny olive tan. However, I think this tan actually suits me better, that kind of orangey warm toned tan. So I would definitely recommend purchasing this. It was $19.99. You can purchase the tanning mitt separately at $9.99. And they even do scrubs and moisturizers as well now. The shipping on filter is either $5.95 for 24 hour delivery or $3.95 for 48 hour delivery. Next up, we're gonna go to Homeware. This is a brand that's new to me. I've never shopped on it before and it's from Naked Lane, who is owned by Charlotte Crosby. They have a whole range of like homeware goods, prints. They have some gorgeous seagrass baskets, which I really wanna get my hands on a set of five. And they even have a section of reclaimed and reloved, which I love the idea of. However, it's very limited stock. I did pick up one item. This is how it arrived, all packaged up. And I actually opted for this book, which says on the front, memories. Now it's just plain and simple white. It's quite a good size for a good kind of coffee table display book. They do have the reverse. They have the black version with the white writing. It's got the Naked Lane branding on the back. Very simple and minimal this one. And it is essentially what can be a create your own photo album, memory book, scrapbook. You could just do some pictures and drawings in here. Even if you left it simply, as it is, just as a display book is beautiful. So this was £45 and the only sort of um, maybe negative I would have for this website is that the shipping is based on the product that you're purchasing. You can expect to get your parcel within three to five days. 
days. £4.70 for standard if it's a large, which I believe this was because of the weight of it, £6.99 shipping. And if it's an extra large item, like the seagrass baskets because of the size of them, even though they're light, I believe they were classed as extra large and that shipping is £15. So it kind of gets pricey if you're putting in a big order or, or an order of a bigger item. They do have a few little bargain finds as well, like little knickknack bits. So yeah definitely check it out if you like your homeware. Okay, moving on to the last and final category of fashion. This is by far the biggest category I have. Let's start with Tesco's and their collaboration with Mrs. Hinch. They have brought out a range of homeware products, which I didn't actually purchase any of because it's quite gray, which obviously if you follow Mrs. Hinch and you know who she is, her home is very neutral, but it's very gray. And also she's collaborated with the FNF clothing. So the fashion, and I picked up one item from the range, which I love this texture. It's like a toweling fabric and it's in cream with a drawstring waist, little shorts, play suit. This is a perfect just a throw on piece that you can potter around in. It kind of feels like loungewear slash pajamas. Yeah, I think you look quite put together. It does come with a, a little headband, which I don't know if I will wear personally. I kind of wish that you maybe didn't have that come with it and maybe it'll lower the price slightly. Not that this is expensive, but it is 18 pounds. Now they did have limited sizing in my Tesco's. This is a 16 to 18 and it was the only size they had. But because it's a drawstring waist, you can really cinch that bit in. It just might gape a little bit at the front, but if I have a little kind of crop top or bralette underneath, then I think that'll be absolutely fine. I just love this. I really, really like it. For loungewear, pajamas, they had quite a lot to choose from actually again mostly in greys they had like a sage green one as well and speaking of pajamas that moves us and nicely onto our next brand which has been set up by the beautiful ellie darby angel collection now angel collection was set up quite a while ago now it's the first time i've shot the collection I'm so glad i have I picked up a set of the slumber pajamas and that with it being summer I did go for the short and short sleeve top version but they do have longer versions especially for winter it comes in this branded bag and then within that you get the individually wrapped items in these plastic wrappers and you get your dispatch note most of the stock seems to be like limited in that they don't restock loads all the time so if you see something i would just purchase it then and there so this set in particular i'll just show it to you at the same time i did have to opt for the shorts in a large i think it was the only size they had left in the dark oatmeal color they had white and they also had blue and then the top i went for in a medium the branding is stitched onto the pocket there on the front of the um the top and the piping and everything all the detailing is very white company very that kind of style i do have white company pajamas and they feel very very similar shorts have the drawstring waist to cinch them in and they also have the uh, branding on there as well this set is Probably not too dissimilar to price points that you can get white company pajamas, especially in the sale. The shorts were £25 and the top was £30. So I wouldn't say it's the most affordable brand. Obviously, when you look at Primark prices, Misguided, PLT, Boohoo, you can get cheaper alternatives. However, I appreciate that there's no compromising on the quality. And for me personally, I sometimes would just prefer to pay a bit more for better quality. They are really inclusive with sizes ranging from extra small to extra extra large and also the delivery. It's free if you spend over £75 and if not standard shipping is £5 and it's four to seven days. And next up we have a brand which I briefly mentioned in a vlog recently once I received this beautiful PR package from Gemma Miles here on YouTube, she's created Girl of Muse with her boyfriend Jamie. They've done an incredible job. The branding, the aesthetics, it's just the most aesthetically pleasing brand you will ever see. It's quite a small collection for their initial quote collection drop, which is launching on the 11th. Now I'm pre-filming this 
because I'm due my vaccine and just in case I'm feeling a bit ropey I just wanted to get it pre-filmed so by the time you're watching this video the collection will already be live who knows if it's going to be sold out or not I'll still link these items if I can I'm failing that the website for future drops this is the PR package so your order won't come exactly like this I've got a little note card there and then beautifully branded tissue paper and stickers with loads of different like quotes hence the quote collection this is the little crop top everything that she sent me is in a medium this color is the white sand she has two other colors as well taupe dreams and like a really gorgeous chocolatey brown these are what the shorts look like the tags and the labeling and everything is just beautiful drawstring nice and high-waisted pocket details which i'm a fan of then in Taupe Dreams, I've got the t-shirt here, which again, for a medium, it's pretty oversized and boxy. So I would stay true to size with this brand. Very inclusive with the sizes ranging from extra small to 3XL. And then there you can see the little quote there on the back, what you think you become. 11 11 and then last but not least we have a zipper hoodie all the hardware is like white as well what you think you become 11 11 is on the back of that as well nice and long line as well so if you did want to wear like cycle shorts that's a bit longer that hoodie which i love with it being a first collection i do believe there's limited stock so if there is anything still available then i would have to recommend being quick because i don't believe they're going to be restocking but failing that keep my eyes peeled for the future launches because I know I'm going to love everything that she creates. So there's four pieces in the collection in three different colours and I will move now on to Aisha and Zellia's brand or neutrals which just screams me. All neutrals. Yes please. I uh, was really impressed with the variety and the selection for their first drop. It's quite a big collection. Came in the beige. I mean how gorgeous is this beige? It's like a real brownie beige beige bag with the branding or neutrals on there and then i ordered four items from their brand and they've also very kindly included a little discount code so having tried these maybe purchasing some more all the products range from 14.99 up to 44.99 for the blazers which are gorgeous i didn't pick up any blazers on this occasion i did firstly go for the ribbed set in this beautiful color called salt it's a real creamy color there's the labeling and branding not that i doubted aisha and zelia at all but for a first drop a first collection the quality for the price that you pay they've nailed it i am so impressed with how thick and good quality this is very stretchy as well and forgiving now i did size up to a large in the top just as a personal preference when it comes to little crop tops like this i do prefer to have them like kind of loose fitting not that they're going to be loose fitting because of the fabric and the way that they are designed but um i always tend to size up in a large in these it does come with removable padding should you wish to take that out and then the leggings are so high-waisted when they came i was like oh they look quite short because they do have a cropped legging option and so i thought oh i don't know if these are going to be too short for me but as soon as you get them on they stretch like no other they are so comfy nice and high-waisted again it doesn't even look like it when i show you like this but when you try them on they are and they come in a another like chocolatey brown color as well this set which again i really want to get my hands on i think that it'll be perfect for like dog walking outfits leggings and a crop top like this with a sweatshirt thrown over the next set that i picked up it all came in tissue paper no plastic packaging and um the next set that i picked up is a t-shirt and shorts so this pair of shorts i think are the best value for money from the entire collection not that i've tried the entire collection but of everything that i've seen these are only 14.99 and they're in this style of a box so i believe they call them boxer short because of the seaming detail there down the front this pair of shorts as like a little cycle short with a t-shirt thrown over the top is my absolute go-to kind of outfit this time of year again dog walking it's just so easy practical comfy pottering around the house running errands so i got the boxer shorts in a medium they're 100 percent cotton 14.99 and i love these now the t-shirt i picked this one up this is the final piece that i got to go with the boxer shorts but obviously 
to go with anything. It's a black t-shirt. It does have the branding on the front, all neutrals. The only thing I'd say with this is this is an extra large and I wouldn't say it's that oversized. So if you prefer a more oversized to fit with this brand in particular, I would size up. Um, extra large, I'm so happy I got the extra large. Again, it's not the longest, so you can see the shorts popping out the bottom, but they just about covers your bum. So, and nice and boxy as well with it being an extra large. So yeah, that's the only thing I would know is size up if you do want that more like of an oversized fit. Let me refer to my notes here. So the ribbed salt bra is $17.99. The leggings $24.99. Great value for money at $24.99 for those leggings. Box is $14.99 and the t-shirt is $17.99. Shipping, they use Royal Mail, which can be two to three days at a price of $4.95 or free if you spend over £75. And you can get next day delivery at $7.95. It does say though that it can take three to five days to dispatch your items. So just bear that in mind mind when ordering you might have the slight delay with the dispatch days but mine arrived pretty quickly from the date of order I would say I had it within three days so pretty good and that was from the launch as well so I'm sure they were busy packing lots of items for everyone who had made their purchases we now have some shorts that I ordered from Grace Beverly's range Tala we are Tala.com. However, I did actually make this purchase through ASOS. So she is on ASOS. I ordered the chocolate brown. Now I didn't actually see this color on her website. There were about eight other colors, but not this chocolate brown. So I don't know if this color is exclusive to ASOS or not. Uh, but the other thing with ASOS as well is the delivery can be quicker. They often do uh, discounts as well. So you might get a bit more of a saving if you do order through ASOS. Um, but that's that's what I did personally. So this is the branding there, the little label. I got these in a medium. They're quite um, short. Again, she's really inclusive with all the sizing options that she has. On her actual website, she has loungewear, underwear, accessories, all sorts as well. So there's definitely a wider range of products to choose from than I ever thought. I just assumed it was always a gym wear that she sold, but there is more of an option um, on her website. So these cost me, £30, but on ASOS at the time, there was 20% off, so I did get a bit of a saving. And on her website, it's £3.99 standard delivery or next day delivery at £6.99. So that is Tala. I did actually order one other thing from ASOS, which if they still got them, I'll link them anyway, even though they're not an influencer collaboration, I thought I might as well just show you. If you were like me into the cycle short trend of just regular everyday outfit, this is from Loose Threads Apparel, and again in that kind of like boxer style like Aisha and Zelia's brand, there's a bit of stitching on the front there, and these are a gorgeous thick rib in this really nice creamy colour. That longer line, which I really appreciate in these, with a sort of oversized t-shirt in a similar colour thrown on is a good little outfit and I think these were about £20, really, really great quality. I'll show you this one next from BOA because of Alice, Alice Olivia, who is style queen. I love her Instagram, I love following her. I've actually met her a few times. She is Northern Gal as well. And she's created her own brand, BOA, which has the best pieces for like, creating a capsule wardrobe, which she's all about. And so I picked up two pieces from her brand. The first thing is a bodysuit. I've even asked her in the past where she's got her bodysuits from because I've then gone and purchased them because I really like them. So she's created her own. Now, there's a few different ones to choose from. I opted for this ribbed white one, which is like a scoop neck um, and back kind of cheeky style bodysuit. I will say though, having tried this on, the fit on top is beautiful, but it's too short for my body. So I'm about five foot five for reference, and I opted for a medium. So I would have to get a large probably, just to gain that extra length. And then these, again, something else that she tends to wear a lot of is leather leggings, leather trousers. And these are in a beautiful color for the spring, summer on those cooler days, but also leading into autumn, winter. They're in a gorgeous cream and they are high-waisted, a zip detail on the back. And they also have a kind of detail across the 
knee here above the knee and these fit great now again I sized up to a large in this so I probably could have got away with a medium and the waist is slightly too big for me but I'm not going to exchange them I'm going to keep the large because of the material they do stay up it's not like I'd be hoisting them up all the time I have bigger thighs so I feel like I would need the large to fit into these there so the ribbed body is 22 pounds these are 34 pounds a similar price point to the beloved top shop ones i think they were about 36 pounds and i do love them but they never brought them out in this kind of a color so i'm so glad i've got my hands on them from because of alice i got free shipping as well because if you spend 50 pounds or more you do get free shipping otherwise it's next day delivery of 5.99 or standard delivery of two to three working days at 3.99 these do come in black as well and they've got some wide leg trousers um uh, leather trousers at black Got some gorgeous blazers and blazer dresses i think the most expensive item is about 95 pounds and it is one of the blazer dresses but they are beautiful so i'm going to move on to my next brand which is misguided and they've collaborated with a few different influencers so i've got a few things from a few different collections another fellow northern influencer hannah renee who i've also met in the past she has done a collab with misguided one of the items was this t-shirt again in that kind of toweling fabric like the mrs hinch play suit this has on it club de raquette champions this was in the sale and it was one of the last ones that i picked up in a uk 10 it is nice and oversized and this t-shirt will look so nice with this um pair of cream ribbed cycle shorts that i picked up from asos there was one other item that i picked up from her range with them and it is a like jumper dress and i think there was still quite a few of these available so i picked this one up in a uk 12 and again, on the front, it's got that kind of sports vibe with it saying sport class, Calabasas, and it's kind of like a tennis logo in a really dark green, really beautiful creamy shade. And it's quite thin and lightweight, which is perfect for this time of year. So I do really, really like this one. Really, really soft as well. So happy with that. The price point for this one is £26. Then from the Zara McDermott range, they brought out this blazer. I got this in a UK 12 doesn't have that cheap plasticky faux leather smell which is great because there's nothing worse when you get a delivery and open it up and it stinks uh this is a really really soft faux leather i quite like these kind of faux leather blazers layered with a hoodie underneath maybe like a really nice sand or stone colored hoodie underneath so yeah love that price point for that one was 48 pounds a little steeper but it is you're getting quite a lot for your money there now, I don't know if we're classing him as an influencer, but Sean John did a collaboration with Misguided. These actually were gifted from Misguided, so thank you to the girls over there who very kindly sent these bits. They're actually all made from the same fabric, so they're all like a, a ribbed knit, and I have to admit, this is the nicest ribbed knit fabric I think I've ever owned. Honestly, hand on heart, they are the thickest and stretchiest as well highly highly recommend these if you're after a ribbed legging in a 10 so high-waisted as well with this matching top and this is one of the styles that they do it's like a collared long sleeved uh, with the sean john written on there and the zips go like up and down so you can kind of have it done up with the zip in the middle if that makes sense at all i also opted for the same leggings in the camel color the branding is in white though, so it's a bit more obvious. I think I prefer the grey personally. However, the top that I got with this one, I do prefer this style of top. I think I'd just get more wear out of this kind of little crop top bralette as opposed to the long sleeve top. I don't know how much I'm actually going to wear that one. Leggings of both of them though, I'm going to get so much wear out of. Um, I do think this crop top is sold out, but the leggings are priced at... 22 pounds the long top was 25 pounds and then i picked up yet another pair of cycle shorts and it's that same fabric so really nice and thick and supportive which is what you want this is the sort of cycle short that because of the quality of it i would happily just wear like a little crop tee with this as opposed to needing to like cover my bum in the boxer style yet again with the detailing down the front the stitching there and these are in a beautiful like baby blue something a bit different for me in a uk 10 these ones are 
nice and high-waisted I'm not a fan of that I wish that that just wasn't on there to be completely honest especially as it's in like a green as well if it had been in the same color as this fabric I'd have let it slide but I'd have preferred just a plain cycle short but never mind the shorts were only 18 pounds and then moving on to the last brand which like I said I feel like the queens of collaborations is the in the style I feel like they were the first kind of online platform to collaborate with influencers and do really well and do lots of ranges Ellie Darby most recently so I did get a couple of pieces from her range that she launched which I'm so glad I did because they're my fave of all the things that I've got so I have quite a selection to show you so I'm going to rapid fire through these the one thing I would say is within the style they often do sales and discounts so I would just wait until they have a sale and discount on because then you can grab yourself a bargain when I was actually looking up the prices for these again online they were on sale from the early Derby range I paid full price for them but we'll let that slide because they are really good this was my favorite this was like the standout piece for me in a UK 10 I got this and it's a beautiful maxi dress, very floaty, girly, angelic, in white. And she had quite a few dresses actually in the collection. Because she is pregnant and looking fabulous, she has brought out maternity versions of a lot of these pieces. So I've picked up the non-maternity, but they do very slightly, the maternity ones. Really pretty lace up back detail and Lucy who modeled this beautifully yet again another youtuber influencer who I have met a few times actually yeah she modeled this beautifully so I had to pick that up this is the most expensive piece that I got it was 50 pounds it's quite thick that one actually then I also picked up this uh, drawstring jumpsuit from the collection and it's in a gorgeous stone color so it comes like so with quite a deep V and the little rope details ties up at the back and also on the sides to be able to cinch in to fit your waist. I picked this one up in a 12 and I was imagining this wearing quite casually but actually the V is quite a plunge so it makes it look quite dressy. I actually think it's better suited to drinks out in summer that's more of the kind of vibe that i'm thinking or if you had loads of friends around for a nice barbecue that leads into the evening love the stone color i feel like it's a really wearable bit more practical than a white and that item is 45 pounds there's just one other item that i did pick up from the ellie darby range and it is a double layered white dress this was 30 pounds it's 100 percent polyester this dress but the material feels lovely. It feels like a linen cotton blend. It feels really, really nice. So I don't know how they do that with polyester. They make it feel so nice. It's super floaty. As you can see there, the double layer. It's quite short. It is a mini dress. A real good summer throw on piece. The sleeves as well just tie up to suit. So however short or long your torso is, you know that the straps are going to fit. And they're actually made from a really nice almost like ribbon texture satiny finish i love this i did pick it up in a uk 12. next up the stacy solomon range that she's got within the style picked up one item from the collab and it is this beautiful linen style play suit drawstring waist to cinch in so i did size up to 14 because i prefer that to have a little bit more length with the shorts it does have little pocket details as well nice added touch there and the kind of frill sleeve detail just kind of covers your arms a little bit which is quite nice really well made really impressed with this one this is a just again a good everyday item that you can throw on yet look really nice and only 30 pounds but again keep your eyes peeled for the sales it's quite often these get reduced i got two items from the lorna Lux range this first one is a I love the style of it, but I'm not a fan of the colour. I thought it was going to be more of a lemon yellow colour, and I was thinking in mind for like a wedding guest outfit for a wedding I've got coming up. However, it's definitely more of a beige. I picked it up in a 12. It is a beautiful dress, but it's just not suitable for the occasion that I was going to wear it to. So whether or not I'll keep this, I don't know. It's quite a thick layered fabric as well. So quite floaty, but yet not at all sheer. Quite weighty actually. Very Lorna Lutz style. In a 12, this one is quite a deep V plunge as well. This dress was £50. So had it have been good for the wedding and a colour that I thought it was going to be, it would have been a pretty good price point for that. Then this one is going to go back. And this is another one that I actually picked up from ASOS. So yet again, 
got myself a bit of a discount with this one. This shirt dress was £35 full price, but again, I think it was 20% off I got on ASOS on that day in particular. It's a shirt dress, like non-coloured shirt dress with the dramatic puffy sleeves, and it's a kind of tie waist in a 14, so I did size up, and it is very short, so it's actually probably too short for my liking, so I think I will return this. She looked fab in it though, so I think it's just maybe better suited that one for people who are a little bit shorter then next up from Sidonelle's range yesterday i had a look online actually they were doing loads of stuff at 50 percent off so if they do have any items left because who knows they might have wiped it with that sale um then i did pick up this shirt this kind of blue shirt oversized fit again in a 14 i sized up and i'm glad i did because i wouldn't say this is the most oversized in terms of a shirt I was thinking of wearing it as like a shirt dress or as a layer over a bikini swimsuit, like a white swimming costume under this. And this is more of like a beach cover up. I think they paired it online with some shorts as well, blue shorts, which looked fab. And I will say though, at £28, I think that's a pretty good price point. And again, it was on sale. The last items that I picked up were from the Naomi Genes range, which I don't know having moved if she's going to be doing any more ranges with them i don't know i believe she's in america now these are definitely out of season pieces but very naomi style so i picked up the um jumper in a 14 it is a cropped fit and slight no it's not really balloon sleeved but it kind of looks like it when it's on high neck beautiful color and then the matching knit skirt which i do actually think especially in the spring or the coolest summer days that a knit skirt can work pick this one up in a 10 it's not the thickest either it's very very stretchy so very comfortable so definitely could wear this with maybe like a white body definitely not going to be wearing this jumper anytime soon she says and watch it be raining and miserable wintry weather next week we never know with this country they were in the sale and i managed to get this skirt for only £12.50 and the knit top for only £10 so that's why I picked it even though it's out of season great price point so that is everything that I picked up let me know which brands were your favourite and let me know if there are any other influencer brands that you would like me to review test out try on for you guys and yeah let me know if you like this kind of style of video it's something a little bit different for me so I hope you enjoyed it Thumbs up if you did, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.